Hey y'all, welcome back. This is Michelle from Michelle's Empty Nest. And today we are getting so close to the end of my Me, Myself and I project. We are almost there. So we are going to look at bad habits, best thing about you, your partner and your favorite spot at home today. And that is prompts 25 through 28. And this poor little envelope, that's all it needed for two days. And I've had some envelopes that were so full I could barely close them. So it's just kind of funny how sometimes a page takes a lot and sometimes it doesn't. I will be using my Sizzix Big Shot Express today to die cut some titles. I have not done that yet in this album, so I thought I would try to add that in. So I'm gonna go ahead and get you put on fast forward and get this put together. Let's do it. Okay, as always, I'm gonna go ahead and get started by setting everything out for prompt 25 and 26. And I'm using my Sizzix Big Shot Express. It's the um, electrical one. You plug it up to a, a power source. Um, I didn't think I'd be able to do a lot of hand cranking when I was choosing which one of these kind of machines I wanted last year, um, just because I have a lot of trouble with my neck and back um, and my shoulder. So, um, I got the one that I can just push a button and make it work and it, it works wonderfully. Um, so I am using a Sizzix die. It's a Tim Holtz die from Sizzix and um, they are an inch tall. And I like these because where those little cutouts are in each letter, you end up getting kind of an embossed feel with them so they're a, a little lumpy if you rub your fingers over them um, and for this cardstock this is from Concord and Knight the black one it is very um, thick it's a wonderful weight paper um, and so I do run it back and forth uh, twice I go through and kind of hold the front plate down just a little bit and then back it up and go again now I am punching out all the letters there. I was missing one when I counted and I realized the O still had the letter in it. So I'm just using the little awl or a pokey tool to, um, to get those letters all out. And then I am using this pink paper, which is from Felicity Jane. It's another one of those solid card stocks that come in the kits. Um, and I end up using most of the same letters. So that's what I'm kind of here pulling out um, the letters that I already had from the previous cut and then I'll grab what else I need and get this run through as well and get all of those little letters cut out and I just decided since I had not done any die cut letters in this album I'm, I, I'm kind of trying to keep it you know not doing the same kind of thing over and over and over again um, so I decided that you know today would be a good day to do that um, so I'm going to go ahead and get these letters also punched out and made uh, into a little pile up there. And you'll notice that big spot of sunshine up there on my book. Well, because of that, I have skipped quite a bit. Um, I am fortunate to have a big double window with a big palladium window above it in my craft room and it lets in beautiful sunlight um, and it floods my craft table with different blotches of sun um, in different shapes and sizes throughout the day. Um, unfortunately today, well, it was a beautiful day so that part wasn't unfortunate, but um, when I was trying to film the sun was just across all the areas that I was trying to work in and so I was not able to keep going so with the camera on so I just went ahead and put both the papers onto these pages um, they're both Felicity Jane papers and this notebook measures about seven and a quarter by nine so I just trim them down and then um, I use the We Are Memory Keepers uh, corner rounder uh, Ch let's see what is it called corner chomper and this book has the quarter inch round so that's the side I use and so I've just done the things that you've seen me do a lot already and just kept that off camera so that the, the glare wouldn't be so bad so this one is the um, the what is it called let me look hold on your bad habits 
so um, I named it Worst Habits because I'm kind of playing off the title on the other side as well. And I just stamped out in black ink from scrapbook.com on my 25 and, and fussy cut those. And then I just made squares. I re really wasn't interested in trying to make pictures out of all of these different things. So I just, um, in Photoshop, made a two, I think it's a two and a half by two and a half inch square. Uh, made the stroke be very thick so it looks like it's got a frame around it. And then just typed out the four things. Self-doubt, perfectionism. Uh, budget buster, I spend way more money than I need to, and um, my sleep habits. I Sometimes I'm up for almost two days. I don't sleep at night. I sleep you know, like a nap during the day. It's just I've always been a night owl, and then here lately, I just am really struggling, and I, I was kind of making a mess there with that S. And I, by the way, I'm using the Zig two-way glue pen to put those thin letters down. They work really well. Um, it, it's a very strong hold, and uh, once it gets, you know, in place, you got just a little bit of time to move it there. Um, but I do like using that little pen. I don't pull it out often enough, but for these thin little letters, it worked out wonderfully. So you might have noticed that I showed you I had a little um, um, journaling on the back of the, one of those cards, and they actually all four have journaling on the back. And originally, I was just going to make little flip outs of all four of those. And then I kind of thought about how, you know, sometimes you hear people say they, they write a letter and then they throw it away or burn it. Well, that was kind of how I felt about that journaling. It was just not good, uplifting journaling. And not that I, you know, I've always told you I'm authentic and open here, but it was just kind of like, eh. I just don't want to have to look and read that. So um, I just decided to glue it to the back and then that way it's there, but I don't have to see it. Um, so now I've moved over to 26, which was supposed to be the best um, thing about you. So I did four two and a half inch diameter circles to kind of play off the other side because what I realized when I made those white squares for the prompt 25, was that it really played well with that black grid on prompt 26. So I just kind of ran with that. I had already picked out that pink polka dot paper. So I decided to make those circles be um, as close in color as I could. So that's why I pulled out that solid color cardstock from Felicity Jane. And um, same thing in Photoshop with a thick border and then used my two and a half inch circle punch to punch each of those out and glue them right down. And I didn't do any journaling for those. I felt like, you know, that was pretty self-explanatory. Um, I, I am very organized. I feel like I am creative. I'm determined. And even though there have been times in my life where I've almost felt like giving up, I have always remained optimistic um, at the core of who I am. So those are the four things that I chose. So now we're gonna move on to prompt 27. And this one is your spouse, um, or actually it's called your partner, but um, my partner is my spouse. So um, I chose a picture of him um, when we were celebrating his 50th birthday two years ago at the Porsche facility in Atlanta. Um, you can go there and tour and eat and get in cars and be driven around the track there um, when you feel like you're gonna die because these drivers go so fast. And then for my husband, we also did where he actually gets to drive around the course and do the, um, the what is it called, the slip pad or something? I don't know, all these different kind of crazy things where it seems really dangerous, but you know, you have like a professional driver there um, in, in the car with you. And he, he is somewhat of a professional driver. He is in law enforcement. I, I will say that. So, um, but it was just a big day, a lot of fun. My, our, you know, our kids went and we all got to take a lap around the track and just made a big day of it. So I picked that picture of him and then just one of us from a few years ago to kind of put down there at the bottom. And then I did journaling and just printed that out on white cardstock. And on the, uh, the letter, I'm sorry, the numbers for this one, I used scrapbook.com midnight blue. 
I love it. It is like a dark navy and I use it quite often, but you will notice I have made a mess with it like two, pl two places on my, my workspace. Somehow I got it in the notebook on the other page. I have no idea what was going on, but I just made a huge mess out of that whole thing. Um, so I am going to get those adhered down and I decided to do them kind of you know, offset to mimic the the layout of the pictures, and I, I don't think I had done that yet in this album either. Now, on page 28 or prompt 28, I end up losing or not losing. I just forgot to turn the camera back on. So you're not going to see um, much of this page. Fortunately, I had already laid out um, on my design page up there that I used from Crystal Idunyate that this picture, the little small picture was going to be at an angle like that and it just happened to be that it covered up that blue smudge perfectly. So that was kind of a, a little stroke of luck there. Now this is where forgetting to get out my stamp chamois is going to come back to haunt me because you see I also have that navy ink on my stamp pad. I'm telling you the stuff was everywhere somehow. But when I go to do the two I stamp it off one time and think okay that, that's not too bad then when I stamp it there is a lot of blue left and it ends up just not being something I can cover up by laying it over so you're gonna see me actually throw this two away um, and then I'm gonna go grab another piece of basil cardstock and use that Kelly Bra uh, Carrie Bradford I keep calling her Kelly Carrie Bradford out number two extra large stamp set um, I've, I've got to pull out the outline because I didn't have another extra two so I'm gonna do that and fussy cut out um, the two and the eight from that blush um, ink from paper person and um, the the second two is still not perfect but it comes out better so um, and then I'm just using the step the scrapbook.com black ink to stamp the outline and I do a couple to get a really good impression also, I did not mention that for on the best traits for 26, that color for the numbers was Rose Garden from Allie Edwards. Um, and it wasn't a perfect match, but I just thought, well, I'll use it. I haven't pulled out her inks in a while, so I chose that one. Then once I finally get these numbers stamped and fussy cut out, I will adhere my pictures in place, kind of both of them at a caddy corner. And I use the Ellie Studio Title Builder um, Volume 1 and 2. I pick Favorite from Volume 1 and Forever from Volume 2. And I stamp them up in the top left-hand corner of this page, kind of at an angle again, um, in, in that blush ink as well. All right, guys, so that's going to finish us up. And I'll come back on here and wrap us up here in just a second. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, that is where we are calling this one done. Um, when I reached up to turn off my camera from doing the stamping, I realized my camera was not even on. So I'm not sure how much of this page I skipped, but hopefully I can get enough of it um, talked about in the voiceover um, for you to know what's going on, but it is a very simple page. Um, and no journaling for that one. I did some journaling for this one. Um, so here on 25, it was called Bad Habits. So I, since I was doing best traits, I wanted to use the word worst. So I picked worst habits. And then the best thing about you, again, was just singular, but I mentioned before, I have a really hard time narrowing things down. And when these pages started to kind of play off of each other unintentionally, then I really ran with that because it made my mind happy. Um, so um, I just had uh, four things for each one. And then uh, my spouse, so I've got the journaling here, and then this is my favorite spot in my home, and it is definitely um, my bedroom, even though I love being in my craft room. My bedroom is my quiet, calm, peaceful sanctuary, um, and so it is my favorite. So that finishes us, finishes us up for all but the last three prompts, and they will be 
the internet or social media made me buy this, your go-to hairstyle and your favorite book. So that is what we will be looking at in the next video. Thank you so much for stopping by today. There will be some close-ups at the end of the video as well as over on Instagram. I would love for you to follow me there. I share all kinds of things over there on Instagram at michelles.empty.nest. Um, there'll be some links to channels and products down below in the description box. And if you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to give me a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.